Hey guys, it's Brett and Brad. We're here with a new collection from Scentsy that comes out not for three weeks though. It comes out in three weeks, but we were able as consultants to purchase it early, so we wanted to do a little video. Thought about waiting a little bit to do the video closer to when it releases, but we figured get you a little excited for something to look forward to towards the end of July and I'll show you now. But of course, I'll remind everybody later when they closer to when they go on sale so you don't forget about them. So it's called the Island Days Wax Collection. And it says, escape to paradise with the help of sunny fragrances. The Island Days Wax Collection features five new Scentsy bars inspired by tropical locales. And you can catch an early flight. Consult, oh, sorry. You don't need to see that. It's talking about when the consultant's gonna purchase them early. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. There's five different bars here inspired by different Island Days locales. So we got our box. I figured we'd unbox them. We got our box here and it's in the little Mylar paper bag. If you get wax during the summertime and you live in a warm location, you're supposed to get them in this Mylar bag like this. We got our last order in one and we got this one in one. So I thought I'd show you what it looks like. So they're inside here. You gotta open the bag. And then on the inside, it's got so ice pack. It's melted now because we've had it sitting out here for a day before we opened it. But it's got a little bag with a little ice pack in there. So let me just tell you what I think would be cool. I think it would be cool if Sensi, and this could save money. I'm all about number one, saving money, number two, recycling and all that. I'm all about that stuff. So I think it would be cool if you could recycle this back to Sensi. Like the ice pack and stuff. Like, why couldn't we send that back to Sensi and they can reuse it for other orders? I, think I mean, even if they wanted to, I mean, put in a label to have it the ice pack meld back. Or just as consultants, us just take the money and mail it back or whatever. I don't know. I'm just like, you know how many of these get thrown in the freaking landfill and stuff and go to waste and they can just be reused i mean peanuts getting that little box i mean yeah, thing with these bags like is there a way they can reuse the bags too i mean if you don't tear them up you know i don't know just a thought i just i hate seeing all this stuff go to the trash they when could it, Kind of like but with the Hello Fresh meals. Why couldn't we send the ice packs back to Hello Fresh? They you probably know, want like, one. No, not with COVID these days, they can't do all right. that, probably. Too much germs being spread back and forth. Maybe without COVID, they could have done that. I don't know. COVID changes everything. So inside, it's cool because they have the bag inside, but then they got like a little, like a little paper, kind of like a little napkin kind of thing around it so that if it, you know, gets wet, it's not going to leak out because it's got the little cloth around the ice pack. And then inside, down here is the wax melts. So they're protected by that ice pack. So we're gonna, okay. We're just gonna grab and go. So I'll let you show them first. So the first one is Star Apple and Freesia. A burst of Star Apple and Tropical Mango Garnished with pink freesia. That's a cute package on the outside. What is star apple? Is that just apple? I have no idea what star apple is. Alexa, what's a star apple? Oh, she ain't gonna know nothing. Here's something I found on the web. According to fragrantica.com, the star apple is an exotic fruit with a tough, inedible skin that ranges in color from green to purple, depending on the stage of ripeness. Wow, what do you know? She actually knew something this time. She always right tells there. us something. That's what I thought it was. I thought I thought I knew what it was, but I wasn't positive, so I didn't want to say. But it's like kind of like it's, see that. So like an exotic fruit. Yeah. So these are probably exotic. The package. Kind of the package is really pretty. Yeah, they are. Hmm, that smells really good. Reminds me of me be buying my own island and then just sitting out there and chilling, fishing. 
hunting, loving every day. So, mmm, smells good. It smells smell like? um, kind of like I get a hint of pineapple in there. Was pineapple in that? Because I get a hint of pineapple. Star apple, tropical mango, and pink fruit. Maybe it's the mango I'm smelling. I was thinking pineapple. Is that yeah, mango this is, maybe? But I was thinking it's pineapple. It's a pretty scent. It's kind of pretty. It's like a pretty. Mm -hmm. I can get the apple. Uh, I guess the star apple is kind of apple. I don't really get mango per se. Maybe a little bit, but I definitely get that pink fruit. It's like okay, a, I have had a star apple. I'm going to get a star apple next time we go to the store so we can smell it and I'll eat it. It's kind of perfumey. Perfumey? You think it's perfumey? I don't think it's Now, on the bottom, not so much. On the bottom, it's really fruity. On the bottom, mm -mm, it's not fruity. That mango comes out more on the bottom. Let me see if that's what I was smelling. The mango, and I thought it was pineapple. I feel like the pink freesia. Maybe it is mango that I was smelling. The pink freesia floral mm -hmm. came out more on the top. On the bottom, it's super fruity. Yeah, it smells really good on the bottom. I really like it. But kind of a slight bit of a perfuminess. Like a body care, a little bit. That's a pretty scent. I still think it smells a little body care. Not super perfumey, but a little body care like maybe. Yeah, maybe body care like <clears throat> lotion, spray, mist, women's mist, maybe. Yeah, something like yeah. that. It smells really good though. I really like it. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, now this one here is salted bergamot breeze. I really like the packages on these. Mm -hmm. Come on, focus. There it goes. Uh, where were we at? A refreshing ocean breeze carries hints of pineapple to groves of salted bergamot. So now you got your pineapple. Yeah. But it's just pineapple and bergamot. Well, ocean breeze, so it might be kind of watery with pineapple and bergamot. So maybe cologne? Not cologne at all. Bergamot can be cologne or perfume sometimes. Maybe, maybe a, maybe a little bit of cologne. Do you get pineapple and like no, a water note? No. Well, maybe a little like bit of a water note, but ocean breeze. The sandal. Or bergamot, I mean. I can smell that. It's kind of light. Mm hmm. I get the watery note. I definitely get the ocean breeze. I get a watery note. I don't really get pineapple. I don't really get fruity at all. Mm -mm. There's no fruity in that. Uh, what's it, bergamot? Mm -hmm. I smell that might be I what I'm getting kind of a... I say, not really cologne to me. Again, it might be a little slightly yeah, more perfumey than cologne. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes bergamot is in women's perfume, I think, too, or mm -hmm. men's cologne, but... Yeah. It's uh, these are kind of summery uh, body care, women's body care perfume. So far, these two to me are, with the that kind of a you know how those scents have the, the florals and then like, kind of a summery perfumey floral. <laughs> if that makes sense, is kind of what these remind me of. But that has a little bit of a watery note. With that watery note, I don't get pineapple at all. I get like the ocean watery breeze and then that bergamot. Oh, on the bottom perfumey. I get a little bit of pineapple. Do you get pineapple on the bottom? Mm-hmm. I still didn't get pineapple. Just a little bit. You can smell it. It's like, like yeah. an undertone. Maybe, maybe. it's it's very uh, it's very uh, it is kind of exotic and like summery like. Mm -hmm. It's really good though, actually. I like the smell. Yeah. It's very summery. You can almost get some suntan lotion vibes. Mm. With the wateriness, a little pineapple, barely pineapple, but. Slightly perfumey, slightly florally. There's kind of a lot going on in that one. But it is. When we move and we're not sitting on this hard floor. It's summery. Though. Yes. Very summery. Okay, next is Tiari and Coconut. Tiari flower and coconut enjoy a breathtaking, sparkling citrus sunset. So we have tiari flower, which will be the floral, and a floral coconut, and then citrus. Mm -hmm. These packages are cute. I love tiari flower. It's usually like oh my a good, god, this smells so good. It's like a good white I floral. I love floral scents. 
Terry Fire is like a really good heady white floral, usually. Ooh, the bottom smells way different than the top. Do you get the uh, coconut and citrus with the floral? I just get floral. I just get floral. This is tiari flower. Oh yeah, <laughs> tiari flower for mm -hmm. sure. This reminds me of tiari flower from uh, Homeworks had the tiari, gosh what was the candle? Tiari flower, gosh. I can't remember the name. It's Tiari something. It's very similar to that. It's gardenia like. If you like Tiari flower, like gardenia, it's very much like that. It's that white, heady floral, for sure. Um, the little I get like a little bit of summer suntan. I'm getting suntan lotion -y vibes with this too. I don't coconut. Maybe that's why I'm getting suntan lotion too. But I don't get no suntan lotion. I get all floral. It's very. I, I, I'm getting. Summer floral, but like with like lathering, like lotion on you. I don't know. I like something sunscreen, but more along the lines of like I said coconut, but it's reminding me of copper tonish. Kind of reminds me of the also the um cross between Tiari, is this Tiari Sunrise from Homeworks, I think, and then the uh Sun Island Sun or something like that from Scentworks. It's got like a it's got like a suntan lotion vibes, kind of like copper tone. It reminds me of Tiari Flower, but like kind of like copper tone sunscreen, all wrapped together. That's what I'm smelling. So maybe a little bit of coconut. He's trying to get peanut in this box here. She's crawling in this small little bee box. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> So anyway, where were we at? <laughs> yeah, tiara flower, I get like, like I said, a little bit of like copper tone sunscreen with tiara flower. But I don't get citrus. I don't really get citrus. But I can get I can get coconut more than citrus. Mmm, that's really nice. Very like summery. Yeah, I like it. Like I said, I get sunscreen and I don't get no sunscreen. Tiara I don't flower. Why you're all this sunscreen you don't smell copper tone? No. Maybe it's just because I think of summery and I think of like Copper tone lotion and floral. I get some tone lotion like with that. With a lot of these. Okay. Uh, that one. Now we have this one here. This one's really pretty too on the outside. Driftwood and jasmine. Driftwood and jasmine add a depth to a beach of Tahitian vanilla. Ooh. Say. That Ain't sounds that. nice. So it'll be floral with jasmine and vanilla and then like driftwood, mm -hmm. maybe like a little bit of wood with the floral and vanilla. <laughs> oh my god, this smells so good. Oh yeah. Jasmine, driftwood, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that smells so good. Now this, this reminds me more of like suntan lotion or something. This one does. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it it's kind of similar to the Terran coconut a little bit to me. It's got that. They all have that suntan lotion vibe to me. It smells. I feel like this one's more so coconut, but it doesn't have coconut. It has jasmine. So I definitely. So it's got the floral jasmine. Driftwood. Mm, yeah, kind of maybe. Um, definitely jasmine, but like it's not super heady strong jasmine but it does smell peachy and maybe a little vanilla now, there is vanilla in there i'm getting coconut though for some reason but yeah sunscreen lotion as well on that one yeah that's nice these are very tropical very beachy very suntan lotiony very florally coconutty all that kind of a vibe. Very summery, <laughs> for sure. It's like you're, you're on a resort, or these tropical destinations, these all have that type these, of vibe. All of these would be good to melt and at the same time, and I think they would all blend very nicely together. Oh, yeah. They're all similar, like, mm -hmm. none of them are totally 
Right. There's not one that's totally different than the others. They're all somewhat similar a little bit. Yeah, and I feel like they yet, smell really good doing it together. But yet they have a little bit of different uh, qualities to them slightly. And then lastly we have Sunshine and Tan Lines. Orange flower and creamy banana sunbathed by a sea of whipped coconut. So now this one I'm thinking for sure would smell like suntan lotion based on the name. Because orange flower and tan lines, that's definitely calling screaming suntan lotion. And then creamy banana and coconut. So maybe it's going to be like, what's that suntan lotion with the coconut? Yeah, um, we have it. The, oh gosh, yeah, I cannot think of the name. Not It's not Copper Tone, it's the uh, Hawaiian Tropic or something like that, yeah. whatever that one is. Coconut, banana boat, banana boat. Yeah, it smells just like it. You can definitely get a banana smell in that. It smells really amazing. Oh yeah, that smells amazing. Hold on a minute, go get that. All right, so Brad got the, uh, this is Australian Gold we have, which is kind of like banana boat. Mm-hmm. It's got, what was it called? Trop exotic blend mm -hmm. right here. It smells almost exactly. Somewhat, not exactly, but it's kind of similar. It's very, 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 very similar. Yeah, you get, you do get the orange flower. Definitely the orange flower. A little bit of banana. It's not like super banana-like, so don't think, oh God, it's gonna be like banana runts candy type of bananas. So it's not like that at all. It's more like a suntan-y, lotion -y type of banana. Mm -hmm. It's far, more than like a creamy, like ripe juicy banana or anything like that, or like a runts candy. It's not like that kind of a banana at all. And then the whipped coconut. So I definitely get the coconut. So it's like, this is more like a coconut suntan lotion. Some of those smell like that too. This is definitely <laughs> like a suntan uh, type of suntan lotion. Coconut suntan lotion. With a little bit of banana, but yeah, it's mm -hmm. definitely, and that picture right there is exactly what it smells like. I mean, if you just, if you could think of what that picture would smell like, that's what this smells like. And that's actually what a lot of these smell like. I mean, they're just tropical, they're beachy, they're, it just reminds me of like, they're all somewhat kind of in the same vein. I feel like a lot of these could be suntan lotion, but with like floral and like watery. So you got, I mean, if you're just out at these tropical destinations, you can you get a little bit of the water, you get a little bit of suntan lotion, you get a little bit of the flowers, the tropical floral, you get a little bit of the tropical fruit. I mean, it's got all of that in these. If you love those kind of scents, you're gonna love this collection because that's exactly what they all are. Mm -hmm. And like Brad said, they all they all go well, really well. You can melt one in another room in another room or even put them in uh, the same room. Alternating warmers, and I think they would blend really well together. Yes. Because none of them are like, there's not a standout that's like different from any, like this one smells totally different from the other ones. They're all They all somewhat, kind of blend nicely. Somewhat in the same vein. But they're really good. Really good way to end a summer with a collection like this. Yeah. So, yeah. Like I said, these are on sale starting July 25th. I think I, did I say that earlier? They are on sale July 25th. So we still have about three weeks before they're on sale. And they're gonna be $25 for the set of five. So that'll be $5 each if you do that. Or you can purchase them separately for $6 each. So they will be on our website starting on July 25th. And I will post reminders, of course, on Instagram, Instagram stories. I'll post reminders about this collection. That way you will remember, since we're doing this video pretty early. And then, of course, probably on the uh, community page here on YouTube, I'll post about it too. So that you will remember about this collection coming out on July 25th, the Island Days wax collection from Scentsy. All right, so thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, y'all.